All right, so this is how to UCAT your pet at home. So first you wanna ideally get your pet in lateral position, having someone help you do that. There we go, good boy. And then your partner who's holding your pet is going to what we call extrude the penis, where you just essentially pull back the skin of the penis and expose the inner layer. Sometimes you need two hands where you pull one in front of the skin and push the bony part out, but this is extruding your penis. And you're gonna have your supplies you with you. Come here, buddy. Go boy. And you're gonna have your Chlorhex scrub, which we will give you. You're gonna have some lube that's sterile, a nice clean syringe of appropriate size, your UCAT we will supply you, and a pair of scissors. Always make sure you're wearing gloves too. So first you're gonna clean the penis your little Clorhex, getting the hair out of there. Oh boy. Then you're gonna take your UCAF and you're gonna cut the tip off. You're gonna move the catheter to one side and make a slit, making sure not to cut the catheter. And you're gonna move it to the other side and cut it on the other side as well. This just gives you a little tab, so when you feed the catheter into the penis, you're not actually touching it with your dirty hands. And then I'm gonna dip your catheter tip in some sterile lube. And you can see the little hole right here on the penis. That's where you're gonna go. So you're gonna feed the catheter into the penis gently, Good making boy. sure not to touch the penis with the paper. And you're gonna keep feeding it until you see some urine inside the package. It is a small catheter. Sometimes it can take a little bit for the urine to come out. So if you've gone most of the way in and you still don't get anything, which we have some right there you can see. But if you don't, you can always attach your syringe and then pull back. Once you have that, you're gonna take your syringe, and you're gonna attach it, and you're just gonna gently pull. Good boy, buddy. You wanna make sure that you're keeping track of how much you're pulling out. So the syringe is 20 mils. So I have one syringe so far, and you wanna have a bowl nearby that you can just empty it into. I want to make sure when you're pulling, you're not pulling the catheter out while you're doing that. So you want to try to keep it as steady as you can. syringes so far. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit of resistance there where when I pull it just goes back to the same spot. So what you want to do is just move it a little bit in case you hit a wall. You want to keep pulling. So see how it now keeps going? resistance again. I'll just move it a little bit. Okay, so now I'm definitely getting resistance, which means that you're all done. You're going to pinch the catheter in half, like so, so you don't get any backflow, and you're going to just gently pull out. Good job. I got about 45 mils.